Alright guys, in this part we're just going to start refining things, so let's go ahead and uh, render this out one more time, see what we're working with. Okay, first things first, I see we have to refine this metal texture a little bit. It's not looking great, so let's go over here. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and try and turn this a little bit darker. Let's go to the transparency here. Or the, the, where is it? The mirror is what we want. I don't think we want that much reflectivity. I think that might be what's messing it up. Turn the Fresnel to so about there. Let's have it fade to the material and not to the sky. I think that would take away a lot of the problems there. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. But now we have to change the the color again. Where's the diffuse? Yeah, okay. Let's mess around with the lamp a little bit. Um look around to see if we can find anything. See if full oversampling will help anything. Speaking of that, how is our yeah our anti aliasing is fine. That actually made it look a little bit better. It might just be, I don't know, but it did make it look a little better. Uh, let's refine our our fluid a little bit more. It's too dark at the moment. Um. Oops. Let's try pulling this all the way up and all the way down. I don't really want that much red anymore because uh, I like the black and blue type effect here. Makes it look, makes the stuff inside look a lot more alien like. I wanted a cool texture inside. Just refining it a little bit, little by little. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry, I just sneeze. That looks fine. So, let's move forward. Keep going with this here. Uh, hmm. Don't want it to be too shiny. Maybe if we turn the gloss down a little bit. So, yeah, that looks better. I like that. Plus it gives a kind of a cartoony feel to it. Let's go ahead and make the background uh, just black so we can... Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Just so we can see the results a little bit better. Hmm, okay. So now we can ref start refining this just a little bit better because I'm not liking where this is going all the way. Uh, maybe if we have at a ramp, uh, color ramp, make this black. I'm just going to turn this uh, blend or the input to normal. Turn the alpha up all the way here. Make this a uh, grayish color. That looks cool. Let's see how that works. It's probably going to be too dark though. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. So just to fix that up there. Now we can uh, turn the reflectivity up and things like that.
Okay, try it out now. I think it'll probably look better now. Let's see where we are in time. We're good. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. I like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I think we're very close to being done here. Another thing. Let's go ahead and just turn this to 100. Let's turn the type to JPEG here. Quality 100. Uh, let's get, go ahead and uh, render this out one more time. And then we'll give it some compositing effects. Just add some depth to this. So we can zoom in quite a bit. Okay, so let's go to our node editor. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's go there with here because we have our compositing section. Uh, this is composite nodes, yes. So let's use the use nodes here. Let's go ahead and add a backdrop output viewer node backdrop, and we can also uh, viewer node. We can see it here as well if we need to. So first things first, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and blur out the image with an with a blur node here. Join it to the viewer node here. Let's change this to fast Gaussian. Let's go ahead and just turn this to 25 by 25. Give it a nice radial blur. And then we'll go ahead and add a RGB curves to the blur. And just bring it down right about there. That's what we want to blur out. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and add a mix node with RGB and the render layer. So actually let's make the render layer first. Turn the factor to one. Turn this to add. Image to image here like that. And now we have a kind of cool glow effect. If we want to uh, make the glow a little bit wider, we'll just turn this to, uh, let's just double it. So let's just say 50. And if you want it to be a little more refined, you just turn the RGB curves down. If you want it to be a little uh, more open. I, I, really, I kind of like that effect a lot. So let's just turn, the, let's just turn this to 75. And then we'll just turn this down a little bit more. Actually, no. It was better once it was closer to 50. So we'll just keep it at, at, in the 50s. So I'm turning it to 55. Right there looks cool. Okay, then we can add a couple more things really quick. We're almost out of time. Ah, uh, we're okay. So filter. Go and add a. Uh, glare node here. See what that does. Let's go ahead and turn the threshold down to let's say 0.1. Uh, turn streaks up a little. See we got a kind of cool shiny effect but uh, it's a little too big so let's turn the threshold down to 0.5 and then let's turn the streaks down to 4 again and uh, it's not enough now so let's just turn it to 0.4. And uh, that's pretty neat. So that looks great. So now let's go back to our default and let's fix the lighting up a little bit better. So let's go into our camera view. Let's uh, fix this. So one thing we should do here is just turn the size up of these spot lamps. Rotate them down so that they we get bring them in a little bit like so. We just want to make sure everything gets what it needs. I think we're good now, so all there is to do is render it. Just give it a minute here. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and turn on ambient occlusion. Turn it to 0.5, approximate. Actually, because of everything, let's just we just we don't need a lot, so let's just put it to 0.3. So I'm gonna pause it really quick because I don't want to go over the time limit. So I'll come back uh, with the result. Oh, sorry, it's kind of stupid. I forgot something. I forgot to put the final glare node to the composite node. Don't forget to do that, otherwise your effect won't go. So I'm just going to render it out one last time. Sorry about that. Alright, so here we are with the final image, and it looks pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and uh, 
be sure to watch the future ones and this was just a quick sidestep from the re, uh, retopo tutorial just so you guys don't get too bored so after this it's back to the retopology tutorial alright guys thanks for watching